My name is Stephen McKnight, I promise. Um, I'm from Tyler, Texas. And I want to share with y'all uh, my story on how I came to understand how the Holy Spirit really works in my life. Um, like most of y'all, I've pretty much grown up in a completely Catholic situation. Um, I've, from being the oldest of seven homeschooled kids to... To being at a Catholic private high school, I always felt like I had a pretty strong grasp on my understanding of how God lives in my life. But I really had no inkling of how much understanding I really lacked. And it was at the end of my freshman year that I heard two of my friends talking about some crazy radical experience that they had at a Steubenville conference. And as I listened, I realized that they were talking about the Holy Spirit moving through their lives. And I felt a twinge of jealousy because I would really never felt the Holy Spirit moving through me. And so I think God used that little bit of jealousy to encourage me to go to the next Steubenville conference. But when I got there and we went through adoration, I, I didn't feel any of the things that they were talking about. And there were people around me that were seeing visions and, and having sensations of smells and just hearing voices. And I, my, my only question was, why can't I feel that? Why can't I experience it? And I think God really answered my question through my friend Bernardo. And Bernardo has a really charismatic, enthusiastic personality to begin with. So when I saw the Holy Spirit touch him, it was radiant, like, like stadium lights coming on. And so, through the joy that God gave Bernardo, I was able to find joy myself. And that's when God's message really got through to me, that not everybody experiences the Holy Spirit in the same way. Some people experience Him moving through their, their lives in a supernatural degree. But God knew that for me, the best way to experience Him was through the experiences of my peers. And so, through that understanding, I was able to shed my jealousy and really find joy in knowing that I can be, I can enter into an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit through the people around me. So, I invite all of you, if you came out of adoration not feeling like you hoped you would, to just find comfort in knowing that God did touch you. And He did so in the way that will make the most profound impact on your life. So I just challenge you to pray for patience and to accept all the gifts that God has given you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's give it up for Franciscan lead one more time. You guys came out and did amazing. I like them boots too, Steve. It's awesome, man. I, uh, I'm wearing boots today because I'm from Texas. I love being from Texas.